Hi everyone, today we all are going to read about the gastrointestinal tubes. There are four types of tubes which we are going to learn today. First is NG tube that is nasogastric tube, second intestinal tube, third esopharyngeal and gastric tubes and fourth is lavage tubes. I have so first we will see about the nasogastric tube. There are two types of nasogastric tubes. First is single lumen tube and second is double lumen tube. Single lumen tube is a leaven tube which we have used widely in the hospital settings for removing the gastric content or providing the tube feedings. And second is a selim sump tube. It is a double lumen tube uh, which is having an air vent and second is used for decompression or intermittent continuous suction. The second types of tubes that we are going to learn are the intestinal tubes. Intestinal tubes are also divided into two types. First is single lumen tube, that is a canter tube. So the canter tube is just a simple lumen tube which is having a inflatable bag at the end which is filled with a heavy metal substance like tungsten so that it can reach to the intestine. The second type of intestinal tube is the miller abort tube. It is a two lumen tube. One lumen is used for decompression or removing the intestinal substance and the second lumen is used for inflating the balloon with tungsten. We have to check in mind while removing these intestinal tubes, we have to check that we have to gradually remove it six inches every hourly. What type of tubes are the esophageal and gastric tubes? It is also divided into two types. Sangstecken Blackmore tube is a triple lumen tube that is widely used in cases of esophageal viruses. But it is having one disadvantage that it is a triple lumen tube. So we have to insert another nasogastric tube from another nares for aspirating the esophageal secretions. Minnesota tube is an another type of esophageal and gastric tube. It is a four lumen tube. So it is having an additional lumen that overcomes the disadvantage of Sangstecken Blackmore tube. It has an additional lumen for aspirating the esophagopharyngeal secretions. Thus, it is also known as modified Sangstecken Blackmore tube. The last and fourth type of tubes are the lavage tubes. It is also two types. First type of lavage tube is the single lumen tube that is eval tube. It is a simple tube used one time for aspirating the contents. Levacuator tube is another kind of lavage tube. It is a double lumen tube, oropharyngeal tube. One lumen is used for inserting the irrigating solution into the stomach and another is for emptying the stomach content. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all like my video. So please do like, share and subscribe and please comment down below for any suggestions and questions. Thank you.